Hello, I'm making this video to help you decide if you really need to create a Keyclock account theme for your application. Let me spin up the Keyclock container uh, on the Keyclockify starter repo to show you what I mean. So here we get redirected to our logging theme. I'm going to connect as test user password one, two, three, as usual. And here in this little test application, you can see that, of course, you have the link to your um, account theme if you have created one or the default if you haven't initialized one already. And on the main page, uh, this is um, probably what you're interested in is enabling your users to change their first name, last name, maybe the extra user attribute that you might have defined. Such here it's a favorite pet, but it could be, I don't know, uh, phone number, uh, gender, or anything else. And uh, they have the possibility to delete their account and also what you might be interested in is uh, enabling them to update their password. But uh, for these three features, um, creating a Nakam theme just for this is, is not really necessary. You can uh, get by just as well with uh, the account theme. Let me show you what I mean. Here, if I click on my password, I can see that I get redirected to a key clock page from the logging theme. This is the logging team and this is the login update password. So the actual page where the password get updated first, it's not from the account theme. Second, um, here, all this form, um, you've already done that. You already done that in the register you've created a register form and it can be reused. It's a pain to have to redevelop uh, uh, this uh, dynamical form um, just for the account, account theme. Here you can see on the, on, the, on the demo app that there's three buttons. And if I click, for example, on the update profile, I get redirected to this page that lets me do exactly the same thing that on the account page. I get the same um, fields. And what's good is that it's reusing the form that you might have, you might have customized for the register page. So you don't have to do it over again. And uh, you can see that uh, you here we are in, uh, in the logging theme and it's the logging update profile page. And if I go back here, you can see that I can even d display a feedback um, after the action is completed, if, uh, uh, either if it's uh, cancelled by the user or if it's successful. Um, so yeah, you just have to create a button in your app. And the update password is uh, the same thing. It's, uh, it's another page of the login. Here it's uh, logging update password. And you have also a button to delete uh, the user account. What I wanted to show you is, uh, for example, so let's log out and go to the register page. So usually uh, this page, if you've uh, opted uh, for customizing this page not just with CSS, but with the React component, what uh, you have probably done is npx uh, keyclockify eject page, and you've selected user profile uh, form fields uh, that is rendered on every page that needed. It has created this uh, component here um, that is a complex form, complex because di dynamic, uh, it will re render different fields depending on how you've configured your Keyclock server. If you have added some extra attributes to your user, 
Um, so this is the, the fields that you probably have customized. And here, uh, the, the, the reference to the uh, user profile uh, profile from fields from the Kiklokify project have been linked to your local copy of the user profile from file fields. But what's cool, if I if I just put here, I, I'll just put a console log uh, hello world to show you what I mean. Um, you can see that this is is used in in multiple pages. Um, so here, if I uh, reload the page, I can see hello world. So it's used here, but it's also used if I log in with test user, password one, two, three. Um, okay. It's also here, you can see hello world here. So the same component is reused. And if you would like to customize this deeper, I mean, the, the um, what's inside this, uh, this box, uh, and that is not the form, you would go and do, uh, so uh, what's the name of the page again? So it's login update profile FTL. So you would do uh, eject page and uh, you'd select login update profile FTL. And here there is uh, some code that I need to update in my um, KC, KC page here. So I'm just going to copy pa paste this, add an entry to the switch case here. Okay, the default. Okay, I need to remove the little plus sign here. Okay, and Mm, why am I showing you this is because you can see that the user profile fields, the component is passed as props for the user profile, uh, for the login update profile here. Uh, so here I get a new page, login update profile, and you can see that here it's used. So I'm just gonna, oops. just some exclamation mark to show you. So yeah, it will probably save you time, uh, save yourself a lot of time if you go with this option for, um, for providing some account feature to your users. Um, here I can see, yeah. Now, how uh, do you implement uh, those, those buttons that redirect to the, to the account uh, management page. Um, you can use, of course, uh, Kiklog.js or any other uh, OIDC client, but uh, we have uh, a solution. Kiklog, uh, the Kiklogify organization provides a solution for uh, integrating Kiklog to your main application and, and redirecting your users to, the, to your theme and uh, to the Keyclock server. So this is an alternative to Keyclock JS. And here you can see that in a uh, user account management, there is a page uh, that explains uh, those buttons. So you have three main action, update password, update profile, and uh, delete account. And uh, we show how to implement it either if you're using something else, that it, uh, another framework than React or uh, with the React API. And we have this, um, we have demo setup for 10 stack router and uh, React router uh, that uh, are live here. And you can see that um, here, I'm gonna go to the protected page. I'm gonna connect uh, to the demo app. And you can see here, uh, I have the um, example um, on how to implement those uh, those buttons. And let me just like do uh, Joseph, uh, I'm just gonna add an uppercase here and save and a result success. So you can, you can have, add feedback. All right then.